Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner, and this is Ali. On this video, we'll show you how to jailbreak any PS4 model on 11.0 and below. Two and a half months have passed, and after a lot of developments and all the efforts that contributed on the scene, we are now able to jailbreak any model of the PS4 as long as the firmware is supported. On the early stages of the exploit, there were a lot of models that even with the supported firmwares, it seems impossible to run the exploit. So you have to check the PS4 model along with the firmware to know if the PS4 can be jailbroken. But now, we are on a stage that firmwares is the only thing that you need to check as long as it meets the requirements, regardless of the model, we will be able to jailbreak and run Gold Hannah. Let us go ahead on the video and start with our requirements. For the latest jailbreak to work, we have a lot of options, but on this video, we'll show you how to do it using a PC or a laptop. We'll also need a LAN cable, and they have to be directly connected using their LAN port. We also need a USB or an external hard drive to load the gold hand for the first time. After loading the gold hand, we no longer need the USB until we decide to update the gold hand. Once everything is all set, let us go ahead and download the applications that we need. On our PC, let us go ahead and download the latest gold hand first. You can find the link on our description and to download, just enter an amount here. Then get now. Then just fill out the information here. Then check out now. View content. Then download. And now for the tools that we are going to need. There are also a lot of other GUI or other tools that you can use to load the latest exploit. But on this video, we'll share the two tools that already implemented the latest development to support all the PS4 models. You can also find the link on our description. Let us go ahead and download the latest version of the PPPWN Lite first. So just open the link on our description and click on this part to download. You may get this notification when downloading the tools for the exploit. You can just go ahead and choose Keep Dangerous File and Keep Anyway. You don't have to worry. All of these tools are completely safe. And now for the latest GUI, you can also find the link on our description. Just open the link and click on this part to download. You may also get this notification. So again, just keep dangerous file and keep anyway. Next, let us go ahead and extract our files. So highlight everything, then right click and extract to separate folders. After extracting, we can go ahead and delete the original files. Now let us go ahead and check one of the requirements of our PS4, which is the firmware. To check the firmware, go to the settings, system, then system information. And to be able to use the gold hand, we have to update to the firmware that is supported by gold hand. It's either 9.60, 10.0, 10.01, or 11.0. We need gold hand to use the features of the jailbreak. Otherwise, the exploit itself is completely irrelevant. So if we are on the firmware between 9.03 to 11.0 that is beyond the support of gold hand, we have to update it first. If you want to keep it as low as possible, for firmware 9.03 to 9.50, you can update to 9.60. And if you are on 10.50 to 10.71, update to 11.0. Now, if your PS4 is on a condition where it can't undergo an update, we won't be able to load Gold Hand, but we have the alternative which is the VTX Hand. Though it does not have all of the features of Gold Hand, but it will be enough to run the FPKG until we get the support of Gold Hen on your firmware. We will have a separate video for that. You can also find it on our description. But if your PS4 can go on update, let us go ahead and show you how to properly and safely update your PS4. Now let me just go ahead and repeat this again. If you want to keep your firmware as low as possible, if you are on 9.03 to 9.50, update to 9.60. If you are on 10.50 to 10.71, update to 11.0. If you're on 10.0 and 10.01 or 9.60 and 11.0, you don't have to update your PS4. We only need to update our PS4 if we are on a firmware that is not yet supported by Gold Hannah. 
and if you don't want to update your ps4 either because of the condition or by preference you can just go ahead and use vtx hen and now to update let me go ahead how we can safely update our ps4 say for example you are on 9.03 to 9.50 and you want to update to 9.60 you can find this link on our description and all you have to do is simply look for the update that you need so let us go ahead and look for the 9.60 so if you plan to use 9.60, just browse to this part and click on this part to download the file. This is the regular update file, the one that has 469 MB. And if you need the reinstallation file, this is what you need, the 9.60 with the size of 1022 MB. So all you have to do is just simply click on this part to download. Now if you want to make sure that you will be downloading the right update, let us go ahead and show you how to do that. Let's use 9.60 for example. So click on this part to download. Now after downloading the update, we have to check the MD5 of the file. This will make sure that we have the right update that we need for our PS4. And to make sure that we won't be using the wrong update or the wrong firmware. Next is go to this website. Here we can check the MD5 of the firmware before we install them on our PS4. So all we have to do is just simply drag and drop our update file here. Now carefully um, compare this MD5 to the official MD5 of the firmware that we need. So as you can see, this MD5 matches the MD5 of the 9.60 update file. By doing this, we can verify the firmware version of the update before installing them on our PS4. Now do this process on other firmware version to make sure that you will be installing the right firmware for your PS4. And to install this on our PS4, we'll need a USB or external hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32. On this video, we're going to use this thumb drive formatted with FAT32. First, create a folder on the root of the hard drive and name it PS4. Inside this folder, create another folder and name it Update. Now inside this folder update, we are going to place the update file that we are going to use on the PS4. And for the file name, it has to be ps4update.pop. Now just for a quick summary, on the root of our hard drive formatted with either XFAT or FAT32, create a folder named PS4. Inside the folder PS4, create another folder and name it update. And inside the update folder, place our update file and name it ps4update.pup. Now we can go ahead and install this on our PS4. And to update, just go to the system software update and the PS4 will detect the update on the USB or the hard drive. Now all you have to do is just click on next and follow the whole process. Now after updating the PS4, we can now go ahead and set up the network of our PS4 and prepare to load the jailbreak. First, let us go ahead and connect our PS4 to our PC using the LAN cable. Then we can go to the network settings, set up internet connection, use a LAN cable, custom, PPPoE, enter a random user, and a random password, click next, automatic, automatic, do not use then you can go back from here. Next, let us go back to the PC and prepare the tool that we are going to use to load the latest exploit. On this video, we are going to use the light version. Now, this is the part where you can try different tool for your PS4. Some tools may have a better result on some PS4. So it is advisable to try different tools. If you want a video on how to use different GUI, you can also find the link on our description for a video using different tools. Now let us go ahead and open the PPPWN light folder. Next, we are going to need to prepare the gold hen to load on our PS4. For that, we will also need a USB thumb drive or external hard drive. Let us go inside the folder PS4 gold hen. To make sure that you will be using the right version, just click on the folder matching your version. Since I am on 9.0, I will go ahead and use this. Inside the folder, we will find the golden versions that are compatible for our version. Open the folder and transfer the golden on the root of our USB or external hard drive. Now let us go ahead and insert this to our PS4. Then go back to the PPPWN folder 
and open this application. If this is going to be the first time using this application or any tool to activate the jailbreak, you will have to install the NPCAP first. Choose your firmware here. Make sure that the Ethernet is selected. Click on OK. Once everything is all set, you can just simply click on Start on the application. If you are having some issues uh, activating your jailbreak, we have a separate video how to troubleshoot or how to fix any possible issues when trying to activate the latest jailbreak. You can also find the link of that video on our description. Now once the jailbreak is successful, you will get this message. And if you are getting a lot of restarts on your PS4 when activating the jailbreak, first try to remove the USB and restart the application. Now if the exploit is loaded, and of course the golden won't be loaded without the USB, but doing that you can verify or you can check which one is causing the restart. So if this is happening because of the USB, you can just simply go ahead and try to use a different USB to load your gold henna. And with the current exploit that we have right now, it has gone a long way with regards to its stability. But it's still far from being completely stable. So you may definitely encounter some issues left and right. That is why we have a different videos to address different issues when activating the latest jailbreak. Everything can be found on our description. Now after the jailbreak, you may go ahead and enjoy your jailbreak stuff and install and play your games. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.